the microphone's working. That's just so ideal. Uh, okay. Uh, welcome to Football is Scripted. The first one since we've technically really gone uh, a bit professional. Yeah, We're officially a, a podcast channel. Uh, where I promote that unbelievable trailer, by the way. Oh, how good was that? <laughs> Should work for Sky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's proud of that. I, I, I think I've watched that trailer seventy times. <laughs> it was emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice how they were all your football takes on there that I checked? <laughs> <laughs> Throw me in the deep end. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the the bow into um, Man United. Arsenal. Or was it uh, yeah, my night, my night, my night. My night. My night. Still a good show, I think. By the way, New Year, New Us, no more silly takes, no more silly things. Um, I was gonna ask you, um, did you have any New Year resolutions? But we just discussed that off camera. Uh, the answer is no, <laughs> from both of us. <laughs> How boring! Uh, how boring! Yeah, <laughs> it's like that time we did one on Halloween. We was like. Done anything for Halloween? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> won't even answer the door. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I probably won't, to be honest. No, no me. No chance. No. No way. Uh, so, we'll just go through some scripted moments. I don't actually tell you these. so the, Not the best ones. One very good one. I'll start with that one. Actually, no. I'll start with the, the worst one, which was um, Elise vs. Chelsea. Mm. Scripted, and then Madawaki scored first Palace, didn't he? In the same game, when he used to mm. play. For, didn't he play for Palace? No. Good start. <laughs> <laughs> New Year, <Not>. save us. <laughs> <laughs> Is he not? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh right. He played for Spurs. I thought he played for Palace as well. No, uh, oh, you can double mind. check, but I'm pretty sure no. Uh, okay. Uh, I, got I got on one. I got one. Go on. Mavropanos against Arsenal. Did he score this Arsenal? He scored the winner. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> a lot of these are like old players scoring against old teams. So the other one, the, the one that was just incredible was Chris Wood at St. James Park hat trick. <laughs> hat trick. <laughs> just turned into Henri. <laughs> yeah, that is amazing. <laughs> I think he's got. I think he's got one Premier League goal at Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. Uh, the the other one was, I, I put this one: Man City versus Copenhagen because they just always get, they mm. just always get the easiest Champions League fixture. Yeah. Every time, and then the best one. I mean, this is up there. Uh, so on the first of November, McNeil assists Tarkowski at Turf Moor. Uh, and then one month later, Michael Keane, his first goal in eight months, <laughs> scores first Burnley. <laughs> in the Sean Dyche derby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. Love that. I couldn't believe it when Michael Keane scored. <laughs> just, he just set us up, really. At Perfectly. the same time, though, it's so obvious because football is scripted. It literally, it is, isn't it? So <laughs> if that doesn't prove that it isn't, uh, then I don't know what does. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, no quite good ones. Uh, the thing is, because we're doing it weekly now, it would be a bit tougher to find more. Mm. But, yeah. We're going to a bit of a roundup 2023. What? I asked you. You haven't told me. But uh, I said, what is your biggest surprise in 2023? I Look thought you your... meant this season. Oh, this season. Well, yeah, if it was in 2023, it could be. Technically, yeah. In 2023, I have a few surprises. No, th this season. I, I didn't think of 2023. You told me this season. I mean, all mine are this season, actually. And then there's one that's last year. So, Okay, last so give me, give me last year's one. <laughs> last year's one is my favourite one. Oh. Uh, and it is. Uh, even writing it earlier, I, I, was, I literally started laughing. Uh, it was uh, Roy Hodgson back at Crystal Palace. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking, right... I was thinking back, the bit, it was just such a huge surprise, because if you would have told you, uh, you know when Palace were in the semi-final of the FA Cup? Uh, yeah. Imagine me saying to you, one year later, in the next oh, season, fuck. Roy Hodgson would be going into the 2023 season. Oh, no. With Crystal Palace. Oh, my we, God. 
it's like we're in 2020 for Palace fans. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. It's just so funny. I just you were so happy with Vieira. I thought we were. I thought we were going to be like Brighton, like what they're doing now. That they, they were supposed to be us. <laughs> oh god, amazing, amazing. Do you yeah, think no, Palace no. should have sacked Vieira to get him back? Looking um, back in um, hindsight. Oh no, no. Nah, not me. Looking back, you had. You had I don't think he was going to go down anyway. I think you would have finished like sixteenth. Yeah, you had well, tough fixtures, didn't you? Well, yeah. you had easy ones left. I mean, the, the football was awful at that time, and it's hard. Mm. Like not looking back, fair, but the first season it was so good. Yeah, yeah. But and tough. Roy Roy was playing attacking football, wasn't he, when he came back? Balling, so. absolutely balling. It was unbelievable. <laughs> you know, he's just gone like, back to his COVID uh, COVID time self. Oh. Watching Palace is, you know, you're up there for me with Sheffield United as probably the worst team to watch. Now we are, yeah. We yeah, only one of the you're, best you're teams good. to watch, the worst. Yeah, yeah. The only time I, I find Palace interesting is when Elise gets the ball. That is it. And Eze. And Eze. Eze yeah. and Elise playing together, like Saturday against Brentford. We, we looked. <laughs> not, was it Saturday? Yeah. We looked way better with just Eze and Elise. Mm. Yeah. Uh, dogs kicking off, so if you can hear a pug in the background, uh, <laughs> that would be well, yeah, because there's a pug in the background. He's a mascot. Uh, yeah, yeah, just a really fucking annoying mascot. Really. <laughs> uh, I'll just quick, I'll give you my other one, which is Sheffield United. A really, I just can't believe how shit they are. Um, is it a surprise? To be this shit. You know, like, I did. Oh, they're so hopeless. They come up and sold their two best players, one to Burnley. Yeah, true. They, they sold Undi to like Marseille or wherever. I don't even know somewhere in yeah. France, and then um, sold Sander Berger to Burnley. I mean, what? Yeah, they the deserve to be go down right then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Sander Berger one is uh, is bad, but ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to give one of yours? Yeah, uh, Fulham. I thought they'd be a lot better this season. Oh really? Yeah. Like last season they look I know they lost Mitrovic in yeah. but this season they I just think they're bad to watch. I I, I don't like Fulham because they could be so much better. I think it's view. a bit harsh. Well Hibernet has been good lately. <laughs> to be fair, the last couple of weeks they started getting a few results. Yeah. But up until then I've like just thought to myself but last season they could have been like kicking on for Europe yeah yeah that's fair uh, yeah I think the last like in December they, they, they were quite good yeah but yeah but, um, if they had Mitrovic this yeah. season they'd have been yeah, they'd be up there I think I rate Fulham yeah. I think they should be doing better yeah fair enough I, I, I have more. no idea where they are in the league to be fair no, I mean, what should oh, be yeah. like ninth now? <laughs> yeah, they, they might be. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, did you have another one? Um, no. Palace? You just told me you had three. <laughs> yeah, but Palace? Palace. Well, how bad they are. Yeah, we should be a lot better. Yeah, Especially after injuries, the end of the season. Injuries have been bad, haven't they? Yeah, that's true. But still, the football's been so bad. Yeah, yeah. You you did. You really thought Roy Hodgson was like Bielsa towards the, the end Godfather. Of last year. <laughs> I thought he was the Godfather. His, if he retired last season, honestly, he'd like Sir Alex going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he's just God. he's just getting lower and lower as each week go now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you literally did you want Brentford to win? Just no, because he would have been sacked surely if he lost. Surely, that. but we we're getting like dangerously close to the relegation, and I don't want to go in the yeah, championship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would make my that would make my year. Honestly. Oh no, God, that's my that's my resolution. Just praying that Palace get relegated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I have two more. Um, so the first one is is Ross Barkley, because yeah, that's a good I did, one. I didn't think Ross Barkley could actually keep up half a season of doing well in the Premier League and he's not getting injured 
No. It, it screamed a flop, didn't it? Yeah. Barkley to Luton. But he has been... Pff, it's been amazing. Yeah, he has, to be fair. Yeah, that's actually a really good one. Because he is, he's, like, just running the show. We played Chelsea, Literally. ran the show. Oh, he was, he was unreal in that game, honestly. Scoring, creating. Yeah, and Townsend. Man City, yeah, Townsend as well. Mm. Yeah, both of them. What great signings for Luton. I think Luton as a whole have to be in surprise of the season. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I thought they would be 20th. You said, actually, didn't you? I said they'd be up. Yeah, they, they might. I think they will. They, they're not bad to watch as well. They're not Sheffield no. United level. No, they, they compete. They all play for yeah, the yeah. badge as well, which I like. Yeah, I, I hope they stay up. Yeah, me too. Uh, uh, and the next one, I have one more, uh, was Cole Palmer. I didn't. I didn't think he was this good. That's another great one. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think players. I was just thinking teams. <laughs> yeah, to, you had about ten seconds to think. To be fair. <laughs> Cole Palmer. Um, I didn't know he was capable. No, nah, he's got. I think he's got like thirteen goal contributions or something like that. Mm. He's literally games. Chelsea's main man. Him, him, and Gallagher. Yeah, he's like the captain, basically. Yeah, Cole Palmer, which is unreal. He's, he's like Man United's Bruno. He's just yeah, like the main literally. man. Yeah, yeah. When Bruno first went. Yeah. It's yeah. a great it's show. Madness. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, those are some surprises of, of the season. Um, I think all quite good shouts, actually, from us. Mm. Uh, I wanted to talk about, because uh, I was looking at the draw for the Champions League, and I couldn't believe just how dead that competition is. I, I so couldn't even bad. tell you some of the ties now because isn't every tie just bad? Yeah, yeah. The the the, the best tie is Napoli vs Barcelona. Yeah, and it's like it's, it's a decent. And I was game. thinking, like, okay, Napoli have some good players, right? But like Barcelona, it's just not the same as it. It's no, not, the same. not at all. No, even, even Real like, Madrid is still unbelievable. But even watching them, it's not the same. Uh, their front three is. Vinicius, Rodrigo, Hosselu. Like, come <laughs> yeah. on. Come on. <laughs> Where's the Galacticos? <laughs> I know. What has happened to football? I, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. It is, uh, it's not as good as it used to be. No, it's just, it just feels really like stale. You yeah. Know, football. Like, Dortmund playing PSV. I couldn't name four Dortmund players, I don't think. No. <laughs> and they got, like, Adi Sebastian Amy. Haller up front. Uh, yeah. It's just... You know, where's the Abamyangs and yeah. Brian Marco Royce and Mkhitaryan, Blazikowski yeah. and stuff? Yeah. There's, just, there's none of them anymore. It's nice, mate. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's so true. E- even when I look at Arsenal, right? Arsenal is Porto. It's like Arsenal are good, but it's not like Thierry Henry, is it? Or Bergkamp. No. And Katia Saka. plays loads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just oh, it's just dead. It's really dead. There's not as many like um, characters now. Everyone's just they're just robots and not as good. Yeah, the only two teams I reckon are like very good or oh, entertaining are Man City and Bayern. They're the only two mm. I look at and think they're like old school. Like they got yeah, the yeah. superstars. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Like Bayern's eleven is a joke. Man City's eleven. They might as well do the final of Man City vs Bayern. Just play that. Ooh, I think Real Madrid win for shout. Yeah, because it's Real Madrid, but oh, I don't know. And don't know. but you know, if Real Madrid sign Mbappe because he's available to for, for free now in the summer. Yeah, yeah. Are they Galacticos? I mean, Rodrigo, Vinicius, yeah. and Mbappe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's a very good front three. <laughs> Vinicius and Mbappe, especially, is is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, I don't know about Rodrigo. He's good. Imagine but... that team on FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be. Uh... That would be unbelievable. Uh, but yeah, even like, they're playing Leipzig. Like, who, Leipzig? Really? Timo Werner. Is it? Timo Werner. <laughs> uh, what, I can't think of the striker. Sesco, but... Yeah. That's it. That's it. It's just dead. Mm-hmm. It's just dead. Premier Time League for a change up. Yeah. 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 Do you think the new Champions League format is good? I don't really know much about it, being a Crystal Palace fan. <laughs> but um, <laughs> no, it definitely needs a change up, and this year proves more than anything. Like the last sixteen, it's just dead, no interest. Probably won't. Apart from Barca and Napoli, you probably won't even watch any of the ties. 
yeah, I, I don't even think I'll, I'll watch that, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, I think <laughs> the new one is slightly better, because the group stages... Uh, I, I watched one group stage game. That was it. Yeah. Newcastle's group, that was the only entertaining one. And Man United's group, that was only because they were close. They're, I did find them too entertaining. Yeah, they were good. They were good. Uh, and your boy Wilf is now out of Champions League. He's going to win the Europa League, though. Is he in Europa? Yeah. Well, I thought Man United finished, finished, finished fourth. fourth, didn't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're out. <laughs> God. Yeah. yeah should we go, actually, should we talk about United a tiny bit? I don't want to go too much on Man United, yeah. but... Yeah. Initial thoughts on, like, Ten Hag? Um, at the moment, what, what, what do you think of Man United? If you look at United's team, it's not that good. It shouldn't be doing that well. Oh, I, I don't like Ten Hag, but I wouldn't sack him. Because the, yeah. the players ain't that good. Yeah, I agree. They was playing... Uh, who did they play the other day? Forrest? Forrest, yeah. And like, if you look at the eleven, it's just... Well, it's awful. It's quite shit. <laughs> and none of their players are consistent. None of them, you can say, we know what we're going to get with him. There's none. They're all mm. so hit and miss. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I agree. Even like the the Rans and Casemiro was like they've they've just gone now. And look yeah, look at them. Casemiro is good last season, but it's such a bad buy. <laughs> that that club is just like it's just so broken, sort of. Yeah. Isn't it? Like, yeah. They've got um some good players though. Like, I think Ganacho, Hoyland, for the future is a good. They got a base to build, but. They yeah. need such a clear out. The only the one consistent player they have is Luke Shaw. I I, I like Luke Shaw. He's yeah, probably their he best is, player. He's a very good player. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah, Luke Shaw can't be your best player. <laughs> no, that, that can't be happening. I mean, if Luke Shaw was at Palace, he wouldn't be their best player. So no, literally, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be, be top three. Be, no, <laughs> that's mad. No. Yeah, he's yeah. United's best. I think Ten Hag has brought the problems on himself, like just getting rid of De Gea. How much did they buy Onana for? Like 40 mil? Mm, What's bad. the point? Yeah. Yeah. Ridiculous. And it, he's also not that good with his feet. Really. No, he? <laughs> no he does look <laughs> dodgy. <laughs> so I don't... He's not good at saving. He's not very good with his feet. In fact, he's terrible at saving. So... Yeah. Yeah, How much did West Ham buy Caduce Kud- for? Was it, was it like was 30, it 40? 40? Yeah, Caduce was like 40. So they could have kept De Gea and bought Caduce and they had a, a better right winger than Anthony at least. Yeah, he's so bad. bad he's awful. But they're going to be stuck with him now. Who's going to take him? Yeah. He's like a Nicholas Pepe. Worse than that. <laughs> yeah, true. Ten times worse. You Do you reckon there's still hope with him? No. No, no, no. There's no, no hope. There's <laughs> no hope. There is no hope with Anthony. No. Oh, it's mad. It's bad. When me and my dad watched a uh, my United game, we just the, the the entire time pretty much we're just saying how bad Anthony is. Yeah. He's <laughs> terrible. How uh, much was he? He was only like a hundred mil, wasn't he? So. So you don't put any of it on Tenog. <laughs> Yeah, massively. It his oh. buys. Right, yeah, okay. But I just think, what's the point of sacking someone? And I don't know, I just think they should trust the process now. Mm. Yeah, and who else are you going to get? No, apparently that's Sir Jim, he likes Graham Potter. But he failed a similar task at Chelsea. Exactly, no. yeah. He's just going to have that, like, Man United fans thinking, is he actually good? Yeah. Because his name's Potter. Yeah, and the players, the egos won't respect him. Yeah. Do you think... Uh, I I think they should sell Rashford. No. You don't? No. No. How many it's... times are we going to see... It? It's one season world class, the next season... Yeah. Five goals. He'll be unreal next year, but then the next mm. year after that, he'll just be terrible again. I don't know, because... When he is unreal, he is, uh, he's unbelievable at his best. He's just never at his best. He's either unbelievable or really bad. There's no in-between with him. But I, I wouldn't sell him. I, I think I would. 
I think I would. I'd buy competition for him, but I wouldn't sell him. Yeah. Yeah. They're just in uh, big problems. But you're not yeah. Them. Big, big problems. Big problems. Uh, what made my Christmas as well was um, Arsenal being top, but then New Year's Eve, the fourth. <laughs> What's happened to them? I don't understand. Saka looks yeah. rubbish. <laughs> you, there's a narrative right that annoys me in the Premier League. You know, in you like pundits, I get they know more about me, right? But they're like, oh, well, if you lose ugly, that means you win ugly. That means you're going to win the league. So it doesn't. Mm, it catches you up. The league. Yeah. Yeah. It year. catches you up. Yeah, and this happens to Arsenal because they've not been, they've not been good all year. No. Who's going to win it then? Let's see. Yeah, they've already started, this is... haven't they? They've started their run already. No. Are they on a run now, are they? I think they've won like three. Three in a row. Are they? Yeah, that's... De Bruyne's back. De Bruyne's back. They're two points off the top, I think. Yeah, back in it now. If they win, they it looked like they was going to be like seven points behind, but... Yeah. Yeah, I do think Liverpool true. have a good shout. No, I'm still, I'm still not having Liverpool. Yeah. Still not having. Seven XG against um, Newcastle. Yeah, but even watching it, it didn't feel... Yeah, but there's a reason why they don't score, because they've got not a very good striker up front. Oh, in the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, Salah. No, <laughs> Firmino in the stands, just bring him back. <laughs> he, he definitely would be better, though, wouldn't he? Yeah, 100%. Oh, oh, Nunes. <laughs> Nunes um, can be unreal, though. He just needs to learn how to finish. Yeah, but it, like play, players don't tend to, like, get very good they don't tend to improve finishing do they usually no it's usually just something they have or... I have a little bit of a hot take oh, God. and you and whoever watches this probably will disagree but hear me out odds on Edward in a Liverpool stop, team stop, scores stop. goals <laughs> 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 it's Finishing is unbelievable. If you give him five, six chances, <laughs> he's scoring two or three. I'm telling you. Oh, Look at him for Celtic. <laughs> no, I, I actually think it. I'm not saying he's better than Darwin Nunes. Like, I just if think. You're new to this podcast, as soon as you hear Bradley <laughs> say Odson, you know something <laughs> mental is happening. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I'm not even joking. If you say, Edward's finishing is unbelievable. It's not unbelievable. It's not. It, it, it's not unbelievable. It's very good. And he'd score more than Richarlison, Nunes, all these strikers who can't score goals. Edward would score them. Is it still messed up? No, there we go. Did you hear what I said? No, I didn't. I said Edward can be better than Messi. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm <laughs> all these strikers who are like can't score goals, like Nunes, <laughs> Timo Werner for Chelsea when he was there, Nicholas Jackson. I'm saying, put yeah, Edward in that position. He scores goals. He's not as good on the ball as Nunes, Richarlison, or these, but he scores more goals. Um, he's not better than Richarlison, I don't think. He's not a better footballer. He's a better finisher. He'll score more goals. Better finisher. I agree. I agree. He, he would score more goals for Spurs than Richarlison does. Well, Richarlison's on six. Um, Edwards on oh, six for a defensive counter-attacking team. Yeah, maybe. I'll give you. I'll give you that one. Just about. But and Nunes, he Nunes. scored more than Nunes. He scored Maybe more than Nunes points. this season. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, he wouldn't link up the play as well, but it's a striker. Score goals. Yeah, I, yeah. I think this season maybe, but I think. Oh, I don't know. Am I mad for agreeing with you? I don't know. I, I, I think it's fact. <laughs> The, uh, you, you stumped me there. If bit. you put Edward in a Man City team, you'll score you 20-25 goals a season. Oh, 
Oh, see, this is where you lose it. This is where you lose it a little bit. I think he would. You, you nearly, you nearly had me on the Darwin winners, but you did well. Fifteen to twenty a season. No, no it doesn't, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. He's got ten. Eduard has got ten goals maximum. No, no, he's got ten no. maximum for Palace. Yeah, but just because you play for City, how many do you reckon he would be on at Man City right now? <sighs> How many is Haaland on? 14. <laughs> I don't want to sound like too optimistic. I think he'd be on like 8 or 9. Alright, okay. So I, I think he'd score halfway through another 11. Do you know what I would think? Oh. I think he'd do so bad that he would have been out by the third game, which means he wouldn't have played anymore. So he would have scored at 1. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> His link up play is really bad, to be fair. <laughs> it's so bad. If you put Edwards finishing, it. yeah, but Mateta against Brentford was unbelievable. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but Edward, put Edwards finishing into Darwin Nunes, you got Erling Haaland. <laughs> not as good, not as good, but you got a, you got a player, you got a proper player. <laughs> Tr- terrific little player. <laughs> <laughs> terrific, terrific striker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, well, that, that was um, a moment. Um, I don't know what to make of that, really. I don't know whether I agree or not, which is scary. Should we have a bet? Let's have a bet. Right, right, God, you're bet. Didn't we bet Mudrick and Anthony last year it would score more goals? Maybe, maybe. We did. So you win that. Let's do double or quits. <laughs> All right, okay. Edward will outscore Nunes and Richarlison this season. Nope. Let's have a bet. Right. How much? Fiver. 50 quid? 50 quid? £7.50. <laughs> <laughs> £7.50. Right. Yeah. Deal. Deal. Right, deal. Right. I'm not liking these bets that's going on here, but... Not that we promote betting. We don't promote no. betting. No, even though you are a little bit addicted. Um, I like the odd <laughs> bet. Yeah. You could say. I saw someone make a hun- nearly win £100,000 the other day from a bet. And then Hearts scored in the last minute. So he lost, lost. it. Oh, no. I actually thousand. couldn't live with myself if that happened. <laughs> the goal, it was unbelievable as well, honestly. Oh, no. Yeah, special goal. A teaching for Ben on hearts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's just the last thing to talk about is um, is Eddie Howe under pressure? Big time, absolutely big time. I don't know. If, on an earlier podcast, I said Eddie Howe. They would look for a reason to sack Eddie Howe, yeah. and this reason's coming now. They're going to look at some big names. I don't know who who's out there, but. Zidane. Zidane. Zidane yeah. <laughs> They're going to look at some big names think for the next level and I think they need to. Eddie Howe won't keep them as a top four team. Uh, they, they've struggled big time. Mm. The injuries have been crazy. Mind yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Like, I think them and Palace and Spurs, maybe Spurs, have struggled mm. the most with injuries. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I don't think he's actually really done anything wrong personally. Where are they in the table? I think they are around ninth. 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 Yeah. Yeah. But it's not awful. It's I mean, not terrible. This squad. this squad isn't like amazing, is it? No. No, no but and the it's top, better than the ninth. The top ten is so strong now in the Premier League. Yeah. They, they could have a good Jan, like by one or two players, and then they'll be back up there. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I think, well, the next game I think is his biggest game in his career. Who have they got? They've got Sunderland in the FA Cup. Oh my god. If he loses that, does he get sacked straight away? I, I don't think he should. I, I don't think he should. But there's a possibility. Yeah. I'd be think. mad. You see, um, Rooney's been sacked. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about Birmingham. I don't really know what's happened. Tom Brady owns them. Does he? Hmm. Basically, right, Birmingham were fifth in the championship. And because Tom Brady owns them, they won the big names in. So they sacked their manager to get Wayne Rooney in. And then he won. He lost like 13 out of 15. 
another 20th and he's just sacked him. Oh, oh, um, it's about embarrassing. Yeah, that, that's not. That almost seemed like that was just destined to happen. Though, yeah, really, didn't, doesn't it? Football is scripted. Exactly. <laughs> uh, who was the other manager? I can't remember his name. He, he must be just over the moon. Yeah. What's happened? Imagine if Birmingham asked for him back. <laughs> yeah, you should not take that offer. No. Definitely. No. Not. Um. Yeah. If uh, and also just quick, is um, he's got Sunderland right, mm. and then after that he's got Man City, uh, Arsenal, Aston Villa. In a row. <laughs> yeah. Newcastle but, could go down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's got Arsenal. Might not have Arsenal. I don't know. But he's got he's got Man City, Villa definitely. <sighs> after that. What's your predictions? Any wins? Um. Yeah, I'll beat Sunderland, you don't surely. Lose all three of them. No. Uh, I'll go. I think he beats Villa. Yeah. Uh, the, the Sunderland game mined us away, isn't it? So mm. well, that's going to be tough. Joe <laughs> Bellingham as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Newcastle just played Liverpool, so tough yeah. um, game before that, that game. Be tired. Big, yeah. big pressure. I, I do think it would be extremely harsh if they sacked Eddie Howe this season. Yeah, but if he loses to Sunderland and loses to Villa and Liverpool, or who's the other game? Arsenal. Yeah. And City, do you say? Villa, City. He might have Arsenal. I can't remember. If they so if he Arsenal. loses the next four, which is doable, not so much Sunderland, so. But. Yeah. Beat Sunderland, loses the next three Premier League games. They're going to be like 13th, 14th, surely. Mm. Yeah. Does he have I to still, go? No, I, I wouldn't do it. Just, no? He's just done such a good job at Newcastle. Yeah. Uh, it depends how close it is, but at the end of the season, I'd like sack him or ask him to walk. Yeah. And then he can come God to Palace. Football's so brutal, isn't so it? So brutal. But now Newcastle so up there, you've got to be. Yeah, but they can't even spend either though because their FFP is like they are basically on the brink of breaking it. So they can't already <laughs> make signings. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a bit like Everton, really. Yeah. So, yeah, unfortunate for Eddie Howe. Well, not really because it gives us more of a chance of finishing top four. Everton, that's another surprise. Yeah, Everton. They're unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Sean Dyche is very good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they play good football as well. Mm. Yeah, who, I can't. Decore is balling. Yeah, big he time. Is so good. Him and uh, McNeil. Mm. Yeah, McNeil is like he nearly nearly scored an unbelievable goal against Wolves. Didn't they? Yeah. And, oh, before we end, Trent Trent nearly scored the greatest goal ever last night. I'm convinced. Which Did one? You see, they, they, he nearly scored a volley, right, from the corner flag. Did you see it? No, I didn't see that. <laughs> Honestly, it was just unbelievable. You have to watch <laughs> Sky Sports like highlights, whatever. Just look at it after. Yeah. Oh, my word. It, it, I think it would have been the best goal of all time. I was watching him yesterday as well. He just, like, he just pings it everywhere, left, right and centre. He's actually unbelievable. Terrible defender, but going forward, he's unbelievable. <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, Anthony Gordon ruined him in the second round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's Trent, basically. By the way, yeah. have, you, have you got a tattoo? Have I got a tattoo? Yeah, on your arm. No. Camera. Camera. Yeah, <laughs> Imagine <bottom>. that. <laughs> Towards the bottom, it goes really dark and green. So I thought you had this uh, massive tattoo. No, no bottom. tattoos. <laughs> Don't like needles. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that has been Football is Scripted. 35 minutes on the clock. Not bad. Um, mm -hmm. I'm yeah, I so, uh, that is the end. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Please record. Please record.